Hello, and welcome to the Bravio Central Weekly Roundup. Now, you're probably getting a little bit tired of all of the weekly trade show announcements, but I wouldn't want to disappoint you this week. We've got some big news. It seemed a long way off, not all that long ago, but with February 2021 quickly nearing into view, we'd been expecting an announcement on the fate of ISC's first outing in Barcelona any day now. With rumours already circulating online, a leak early in the week forced the organiser's hand, much to Mike Blackman's frustration. The organiser was still in the process of negotiating contracts and hotel rates before making the official announcement. But with the coronavirus situation deteriorating in many European countries, Spain in particular, it seems the sensible decision. It will now run from the 1st to the 4th of June 2021. For me, no show is definitely better than a bad show and you want the first edition to go off with a bang. But the new June date puts the show back to back with Infocom Orlando, which opens on the 12th. However, both shows this year are expected to be much more regionally focused. Over in Dubai, preparations are still on track for the Dubai Expo 2020 to take place in October 21, with construction of the pavilions due to be completed by the end of this year. While it's still physically going ahead, in-person interactions are likely to be quite different from what was originally planned, and a virtual element is also being promised, although few details have been announced as of yet. Saying this, the Emirates will no doubt be hoping that the Expo can entice some much-needed travellers back into the country. In South Africa, the AV industry has once again been uniting to highlight the plight of workers, this time with hash flight case movement. Members of the country's live event industry all stood united at Paul Kruger statue in central Pretoria early in the month to hand over a memoratum of demands to the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. The efforts already look to have paid off as some further financial support has already been announced by the government. Over in Asia, projects are continuing to forge ahead at a steady pace and Christie Crimson laser projectors have been permanently installed at Smile Square in China. The centerpiece of the square is an impressive light show with stage design handled by the team behind the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games opening and closing ceremonies. Elsewhere, it's been really nice to see the return of live concerts with a full audience. Michelle Pan took to the stage in Taiwan for her first post-COVID concert to around 2,500 fans. To power the concert, Willie Engineering and Trading called on an Elacoustics K2 setup together with extensive mapping and sound vision to transform the conference venue into one capable of hosting a live music concert. Now, last but not least, we're excited to get back out on the road in the near future. Provided there isn't a sudden change of fortune, Richard and Chris will be heading to Italy to visit some of those manufacturers that got hit hard by the pandemic early on. It'll be the first time we've been able to meet face to face with some people, albeit adequately socially distanced. So that's it for this week's roundup. We'll see you next week.